Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, I'm prepared mentally and physically and emotionally to be absolutely disappointed by EA yet again for another year running. As we're going to be looking at the career mode deep dive, obviously I do a lot of career mode content if you didn't know that already, so this is actually important somewhat. As we all know, EA suck at making games, so we're just going to watch this trailer, jump into the deep dive, and hope that they manage to actually add anything that may actually work into the game. Because a lot of time they add features and go, look at this, and they go, ah, oh, it actually doesn't work, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's really entertaining stuff, but let's see uh, the graphical improvements, because that's all that matters these days. There's so many things to add to a player career mode, to a manager career mode, but we'll save that talk for later. Let's get into it. Career mode in 25 is the most forward-thinking in FC history. Wow. Do you want a standing ovation? Uh, it's the second FC ever, um, and also you say that every year. I can't wait to see that. Major innovations you've created. Real is women's football to career. Now nah, that's cool. Women's football's yeah, cool. Thanks, I write that. Let's get it. World with live start points. This is the biggest update we've added to career in years. In FC25, you can experience the drama of any team's real-world season. Pick up from where a team or player has left off that week, and you'll have to deal with the related league standings, fixtures, injuries, and transfers. I mean, that's cool, but I don't care. You know, it's like one of those things that you sort of just chuck in and go, yeah, you could start a career with the real-life standings now. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's not a feature. That's not saying it's going to revolutionize the game. Like, that's just a, cool, we can start from different points. Amazing. I'm probably going to use that once. FC IQ, oh, who doesn't love it? Honestly, at this point with press coverages, couldn't care less. Actually couldn't care. I mean, in the day, if it works, it'll be cool. But I just don't believe it will. So <laughs> we'll have to wait and see, I guess. We're expanding the list of countries that you... Whoa, no way. So they added something that mods could do for about six years, which is just scout in any country. Revolutionizing the game here, EA. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, this is one of the few things I have seen in youth academy games it's not a youth academy game it's a 5v5 piss take i think this is stupid like if you want to add a 5v5 mode uh play volta it's literally exactly that i think this is utterly stupid i'm gonna be honest how i envision youth academy should be is a youth academy 11 v 11 you've got under 21s under 18s they play in their own league you can watch them play or you can just see how they're performing how they're growing this is stupid i'm never going to use this once i just for me it's all about realism as much as possible for a lot of career modes because without realism the replayability sucks and then that's the main issue with fc24 it's main issue with fifa's for so long the replayability is awful you play one career you're thinking oh i kind of done everything i wanted there's no sort of enjoyment redoing career modes constantly that's why i basically never play manager mode because it's the same shit every time regardless of what team you pick that's why play career mode is so much better because you know you can be more creative with what happens but and that's the difference between fm and fc24 fm you can load in every time you could play the same team you could do a same save and it would be different every time but this is just i mean this is again it's one of those things where it's like it's the same as sort of joining in mid-season type stuff. It's a cool addition, but it's not something to be flexing. Because again, this is going to die very quickly. Social media is here. Oh, about bloody time. I don't have to make it every episode. Fantastic. With their next important decision. And of course, we've up social media. I'm going to be honest, that looks worse in my opinion than previous years. Yeah, let's jump into the deep dive because that was underwhelming as usual. Now, there may be things that you saw in that video that you were like, that's amazing. That's cool. You know, if, if you're going to enjoy it, that's the main thing. For me personally, I'm a lot more critical. You know, I've played FC 24 and FIFAs for God knows how long. And a lot of the time, I really struggle with just trying to like not get bored of it or not sort of just want to break the game because it's just boring. And these additions that I'm seeing right now can maybe spark a little bit for the first time you play a career or maybe the second time, a little bit. But again, it's not going to give me anything. Uh, maybe it'll give me some unique ideas, but you could already do it. You could already make a career with David Beckham. People make player faces 24-7. Now, obviously on console, it's different. But for me playing mods on PC, I could get David Beckham's face, put it on a youngster and play his career. Like, I could do that, and it wouldn't take that much effort. So for this stuff, it doesn't really do anything for me. But let's just read through it and see what other information we have here. So obviously, the live start points, as we saw, all new to both manager and player. Cremo's live start points very close to favorite clubs and leagues. They only live out the biggest storylines lines from the real world during the 24-25 season. Again, probably never going to use this, maybe once. Women's manager career, I don't think I'll be touching that... 
Maybe I will, but I probably won't. Play a career woman, maybe. Might give it a go, but manager mode, probably not. Obviously, FC, IQ, and career mode, they say every year, oh, the AI's smarter, oh, the tactics are smarter, this, then, the third, and it never changes anything. The tactics basically have no influence in career mode because the AI sucks and it's easy to win comfortably. So if I do play as like a Man City and I'm playing against a bloody, I don't know, team like a Bournemouth or something like that, and they go, hey, we're away at the Etihad, we're going to play super counter-attacking football, we're going to be very defensively secure, and it makes it a bit harder for me, cool. But in reality, if you play Man City in this game, they play the same football every time and they're so shit when you attack them with counters like man city are easy to play than like mid-table premier league teams because man city are so offensive and the game can't understand how they defend and you can just counter them with pace but i hope it works because then maybe the career modes won't be as boring like i did this career mode once for southampton when we were battling relegation i made with mods a save where the leagues were up to date and the fixtures were the same and it was cool so obviously this has a purpose but it's not something that i'm again it's not a feature it's something nice that you've added to the game but it's not something to be proud of it is so utterly basic it's not something that really will be used all that much especially for me in terms of fc iq it's basically just fm but will it work is an entirely different question because a lot of the time as i've said in the past they've said we've added things and they've not worked i remember I can't remember if it was FIFA 22 or FIFA 23. They released a game saying the AI is smarter with their team selections. And it completely didn't work. And all the AI teams, like if you played Man City or Arsenal or Liverpool or whatever, they all play their B team because they assume that you are shit because you're a low Premier League table. And then they'd get relegated. But nah, I 100% I, I back them to get it right this time. 100%. But this, again, if it works, it will be good. But I doubt it will. I'm just going to be honest. They say a lot of things that they add that are going to revolutionize the game and you get into the game and it doesn't work. So, I mean, development plans are always good because it's unique. It's a unique way of doing it. I wish they did this for player career mode. The skill points thing is the most stupid shit I've ever seen. I mean, I'll get into a rant later probably, but development plans is what it should be for player career mode as well. I don't know why you have to do skill points. It's just boring, but I mean, again, I don't know. They just added different. Yeah, they've just changed what he can train. So it's not even different. They've just changed the names of them and what they do. Okay, cool. Um, obviously, press conferences. Again, I doubt that it's very deep uh, in, the, in what they've done because press conferences before were just so utterly basic. Every question's the same. And it just got boring. It was very obvious which, which answers would boost the morale, which wouldn't. And it was very dull in that regard. So we'll see how it goes. I'll probably always skip them anyway. Youth Academy, as I said before, well done. You can now scout every nation. Uh, believe it or not, you could do it with mods for about six years. It's not exactly something I would flex again. It's ridiculous how it wasn't in the game in the first place. Like, it's just shocking. Scouting specific positions is good. Again, I think they did that last year a bit. Probably you can scout with the, you know, with the half wing or shadow striker as it shows. You can probably do it like that. And that's a good addition, um, even though it didn't really, it wasn't that accurate, but it is what it is. It's better than sort of having to wait and wait and wait and hope you get a striker and eventually they come and they're 42 rated. And obviously the Youth Academy thing, again, I think is utterly stupid. I'm never going to use it once. <sighs> it's just like, you could have done this, but with 11 v 11. You know? Like, I just don't understand why you just wouldn't do it with 11 v 11. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, you're already doing a sort of mini tournament for the Youth Academy, which is fine. But why 5v5? Why not just an 11 v 11? I don't understand. And again, it's like, well, if you're going to do tournaments for Youth Academy, just make a league. Just make a league for the Youth Academy. Because in reality, if that was the case and they made a league, they had the Premier League 2, which is like in real life. They had the teams in there and they played in there. You had a squad of 16 or 18 or whatever youth players in there. Am I going to play the games? No. But at least it'll give me stats. It'll give me performances. It'll show me who's growing well, who's doing well. Maybe, oh, he's in great form. He's playing well in the Youth Academy. He's got high potential. I'll bring him into the first team and give him some games. Like those sort of things. But it's pointless to do these tournaments, in my opinion, because I'm not ever going to use them, ever. I think it is just dumb. Uh, youth players will now look younger and you'll be able to see them physically grow during their development. Cool. A nice little change there. It's nice because obviously having a beard at 15 is a bit dodgy. All right, so customization. They did show this a little bit and I was intrigued by it because this is actually quite huge for gameplay stuff because a lot of the time the default gameplay is absolutely horrid and unplayable. So for me, I use gameplay mods. I use sliders when the gameplay mods aren't available because obviously mods take a few months to be made. So this will be interesting for me. More satisfying goals maybe. You, you, when you score a nice goal, will be more satisfying. Uh, maybe the AI would actually cause a lot of challenges and maybe have to change your tactics once in a lifetime because typically you just have a tactic, 
yeah, if you're players, doesn't matter who you play, you'll probably win anyway because AI isn't very smart. But hey, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the turn of the century here. Relates to giving players different choices with respect to gameplay balancing, which is good because Jesus, the default is shit. Players can toggle between a realistic setting, which would lock the gameplay sliders to values closer to current real life football. Yeah, I doubt that. Now that could be good if it works. Again, everything that happens with EA, you got to just take it with a grain of salt because it's a good chance it won't work how they're uh, suggesting it will. Gameplay is very personalized, right? Some people like certain types of gameplay. Some people like other different types of gameplay. So the more options you have of gameplay is better because you can sort of maybe find one that fits how you want to play the game more, which is good. So I like this ad. This is a good ad. Training plan, recovery rates down. Finally, Oh my god. You know what I hate about manager mode when I did it was that no one was ever tired. Like, I'd, I'd have to force them to train way more so that they would be tired, so I'd be forced to make subs. I'd be forced to rotate the team. It got so boring. They've already had the financial stuff. I don't know why they're talking about shit they already had. Like, you could already boost your finances from the start. Settings such as match settings, gameplay simulation settings can be still modified but save. I'd hope so. Like, what? I, I, the fact you even had to set that is concerning. Of course you should be able to change your settings mid-save. That is ridiculous. And you do not require you to start a new... If you did, that would be the worst thing ever created. Hey, start a career mode. Ah, but you've gotten better at the game as you've gone on. But you can't change the difficulty. You can't change the settings. Jesus Christ. So obviously social media is a big one. Uh, I hate making social media stuff for my player career modes. It's really time consuming and it's annoying. Because it just doesn't fit into the game, if you know what I mean. It's sort of, the immersion's a bit difficult to keep, but I love this. Hope it works, hope it works well, because that would be fantastic. That would be really good for player career modes as well. So I'm happy about this. It's, it's been a while that it's been rumored that um, social media was coming, so I'm glad it's finally here. I think this looks dumb. I'm going to be I don't like this at all. I think it just looks clunky. I think it looked better in the last one. Can I tweet shit? Can I tweet out saying that club sucks? Am I able to do custom tweets? That would actually be a game changer. We're excited to announce that we've secured some of the biggest names in sports media. <laughs> What's going on here? Where am I? <laughs> I mean, some images here. They look all right. I mean, as long as it's sort of like there's a lot of things that could happen in terms of types of posts. If there's a lot of types of posts, so it never really feels like it's the same shit over and over again, like it is on the news tile um, for previous editions, then it may be good. So obviously player career mode with icons and FC25 player career mode. You can now play with some of the greatest names in football history, blah, blah, blah. Don't care, to be honest. The free paths. Wow, creative. <laughs> free. You couldn't think of any more than free. Okay, it's not exactly like you're doing much here. Fine, whatever. But again, you're 23. Your career's basically over. <laughs> you're one ACL away from fucking retiring. <laughs> Honestly. I think... Like, these origin stories, there's a lot of potential with them, but it's like, I'm not going to be doing this. I'm just not, to be honest. I don't typically like even making my player through the career mode because, again, you have to do skill points, and it's just so boring. Hey, do you know what happens? Oh, you play a game. I le I'm level two now. Oh, look at me. I got five plus speed. Oh, excellent, mud. If you have your own story idea for your career, you can follow your own dreams to set up your starting condition as part of a custom start. Oh! How, how much customization? How much? You'll be able to set your... Hold on, this changed everything. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold your horses. Wait a second. You'll be able to set up your age. My whole argument's gone. <laughs> Skill level as well. It's personality type. Whatever you want to start... Oh, hold, oh, hold, hold on. <laughs> Let's get locked in here. Wait, hold on. This case should be good. If you want to set up a young player with average skill but an undying love for your hometown club, an experienced player with all the skills who is a true maverick, or anything in between, custom start enables you to create your own story. If you're happy starting from a the traditional point of a young player that you can develop and mold, you can select the clean slate option and see where it takes you. Whichever way you want to start your career mode, just remember that once selected that... Ooh. You know, that's given me a bit of hope now. I'm not going to lie. The customization, obviously, they don't really specify how much you can customize. Like, is there a lot of options? Or just sort of like, oh, you can do this sort of making a comeback in your career, but you're 19, you had free ACLs at 15 or something, all right? But that's interesting. That is interesting. That has given me a little bit more hope for a player career mode through that, to be honest. I've talked so much shit about how, like, I wouldn't start a career mode at 27, but now you may be able to do exactly that type of career mode at 20 at 19, at 18, at 17, which would be interesting. Okay, that could be good. It will be a miracle if I play a manager career mode for more than two seasons because it is boring. But let's just hope that FCIQ makes it better and the, and the gameplay is improved. 
That's about all I've got for you. If those things are, if FCIQ isn't as good as what they're really trying to push, that it's a game changer, and the gameplay isn't that much better than FC24, it's just going to die again. But that's going to be this video done. There's a couple positive things, a couple of things that I just feel like as soon as you load the game aren't just going to work. So we'll see how it goes when obviously it releases in like a month and a half, six weeks, five weeks or whenever it is. And we'll see how it goes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you liked about it, what you've hated, what you think they should improve on, which the list would be endless, but it is what it is. I mean, I have so many ideas in my mind, which wouldn't be that all that difficult to implement, but it is what it is. But I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you boys in the future. <laughs>